Good morning, Dr. Lana Walton here. This morning, I'd like to talk to you about some listening ethics. Uh, there are quite a few attributes dealing with ethics concerning intellectual being. And one of the ones that's most important to me is the one dealing with autonomy. Aut autonomy, being able to, to uh, think for yourself, to me being able to think for uh, for myself. Are you able to think for yourself? Are you able to uh, evaluate uh, what people say as far as politicians, as far as uh, people gossiping on your job or uh, in the church or on the streets uh, when it comes to uh, thinking for yourself? Are you able to to just listen and listen maybe and then make your own decision on uh, what you think about what they said or do you uh, look at uh, who they are, whether they're popular, whether they have money, whether they're uh, politicians, whether they're entertainers, whether they are unknown. I mean, I'm sorry, not unknown, but well-known um, or do you just... Just take it upon yourself and um, evaluate with uh, reason and and evidence about what they have just uh, said to you. Do you uh, fall back on your own um, a value system and on your own belief system? Or do you, uh, after gathering evidence and 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 uh, reasoning, sound reasoning, uh, decide that your um, your belief system is out of order, or or maybe your uh, value system uh, that uh, that you've been taught as uh, here in in this country or in your home um, are not up to par, and after being enlightened, they. Uh, they need to change, but the the most important thing is: Are you able to think for yourself, collecting evidence and putting it together with reasoning, and then coming to a sound conclusion? Thank you for hearing me, and I'll see you the next time.